Why don't people in America protest like they should? Healthcare is shit. Worker wage is abysmal. Living conditions in cities is horrible. Gun violence is killing children. Seeing how Paris has chosen to burn everything for a change in the retirement age, why doesn't the US follow suit? We have more to complain about, but we sit and eat it up. I'm not advocating for destruction but voice out, vote better and get things done. Most of the reforms in this country came from the protests in the past. Why isn't that happening more than ever today? I want things to get better and I'm hoping they will. Update this blew up and I am seeing notifications everywhere. I hope I didn't cause a stir but I felt like most of you resonated with this. The French government is afraid of and works for the French populace. Americans are afraid of their government and with good reason. They don't even pretend to work for us. They serve their donors and only their donors which are corporations and the point zero one. The ruling class has spent 40 years and billions of dollars making sure we are uneducated, docile, and easily swayed by propaganda. That is why the French riot while Americans fight over drag shows and an indicted Orange X game show host. Qualified immunity. Systemic support of civil rights violations. A general feeling that it's unfixable and better if it just falls apart as we struggle to get through the coming tumult. Did people here memory hold the George Floyd protests where people were taken off the street and black bagged by cops? My state made it nearly illegal to protest in the streets and has granted immunity to anyone who wants to run us over if we do. Debt that's the point of it medical debt, student debt, credit card debt, mortgage debt the point is the same. We're too tired from working all day. If we had energy to really protest, the cops in our cities would at the very least attack us. If we managed to survive that and go to the hospital for injuries, the bill would bankrupt us. If we were bankrupt and became homeless, then no other American would take us seriously anymore. Then at that point, why protest? So yeah. Our cops can and will kill us, and then get away with it. Cops get away with murder here very often. The government has bombed us before and will do it again. Have you watched what the response was during any of the George Floyd protests? Cops are sent out to beat the shit out of people. America is a police state and the police are very well armed. At the slightest hint of uprising. Police are deployed and basically allowed to beat anyone with no repercussion. The time and means to do so. French get way more PTO, so they can take a day and just go protest. They're a cheap rail ticket away from the capital. X200B. The people in the USA who should protest are thousands of miles away from the capital, can't get any time off to do it without being fired and ruining their life. The list goes on and on. We did in 2020, did you not see what happened? People were killed both by police and random citizens, permanently disabled, and straight up kidnapped by police. The FOP in this country has a fetish for beating and murdering the people and unless we can enact some change there, protests and riots aren't gonna work here. The French government will listen. The American government will kill us. I saw someone point this out earlier. In America to protest you have to get past the police, military and the other half of the country that's too brainwashed to see what's happening. Case in point look at the BLM protest. People from the far right would incite violence making protest turn, into riots and spread commentary in an attempt to delegitimize the BLM movement. I mean I see people all the time call it a BS movement, as if it's such BS to not want to be brutalized by those sworn to protect. Because America is the best country s. Brainwashing that the USA has it better than everywhere else. It might not be perfect, but aren't you glad you don't live in not USA country? Imagine having fewer different flavors of snack foods, or wanting a snack food, but the store is closed. Americans are too exhausted from working so hard to organize and protest. They also can't take time off frivolously. Militarized police. Even peaceful protests are dangerous for participants. I don't protest because I, as a black man, become a target for live target practice. 
it's almost as if it's a suicide mission. This comes from someone who has been roughed up by the police. Most people are too busy working and just trying to exist in this unfair society. Also, fear of losing job and imprisonment. Can't protest when healthcare is tied to employment. Effectively keeps us all in line. Puritanical roots and a lack of solidarity stemming from diverse cultural backgrounds, and massive amounts of empty space between infrastructure hubs. They are too busy working. Americans are subjected to 12 years of intensive brainwashing that convinces them they will all be rich someday. Because our cops have military grade gear. Because there are real cultural divides in America. We all like to think it's the people vs the government. But unfortunately in America it's people versus people. There's actually a ton of protesting in America. And there's always an equal amount of counter-protesting. About a third of America is basically neo-fascist at this point. It hurts, but it's the truth. American culture blows. The US is very spread out so protests in one city don't really affect others, so it's easier to ignore. When a geographically smaller country protests and can shut down the whole country, everyone pays attention. Not to mention that the police in the US are highly militarized and could in theory easily kill protesters. It's just so much more risky here. We have killer cops that won't hesitate to injure kill protesters. They're basically immune to the law. Because our cops would have no problem killing all of the protesters and I'm fairly certain the National Guard would be called in for backup, and that just wouldn't be a good idea. Because we live in suburbs. 20 of French people live in Paris. Not a lot of people commuting to a protest. What's that shit where the kidnapped person empathizes with their kidnapper? Americans have that, for our government. I'm getting real sick and tired of these kinds of posts when you guys know why. You saw 2020 and what happened when we protested. We did. The cops brutalized us. There is a reason why the US built the biggest prison state in the history of the world. We do protest. But there are huge consequences. Look at Cop City and people either murdered or charged with terrorism. Furthermore, we have to keep in mind that places like France fought for universal public institutions. We privatized almost everything and fight case by case, company by company. Militarized police. Too busy working. The cops will kill us. And we don't have health insurance if something bad happens. Dude if I miss a single day of work I'm eating less or missing a bill. Not to mention how fucked I'd be if I lost my job over protesting. The main reason is because we can't align ourselves as American citizens under one common reason to stand together. We are all at war with each other, we can't unify even for the simplest of reasons. Only after 9-11 did we briefly open our clenched fists and join hands in any semblance of solidarity. But that was very brief. Our politicians have made sure that we never stop seeing red, that we are our own worst enemy. Our police basically have immunity from killing us if the fear for their lives and many of our state governors have enacted laws that significantly restrict lawful protest. You want to get killed by a cop? Want a 20-year prison sentence? May I remind you what they did to Martin Luther King Jr.? They are busy working and surviving which is how the system is intended. When we protest too loudly, we get shot down sometimes literally. Multiple civil rights protests. Kent State. Stonewall. Occupy. BLM. Many, many more. Sometimes the ultimate outcome is a bit of change for better or worse and sometimes not.